It's a site I use on like the Chris Vector and like the Remington 700. That means it's a good site overall. My opinion, it's subscribe if... Yeah. Yes. Where are you guys? Okay. Oh my gosh, that was such a good multi. I was hanging on to that thing. So hello gamers and welcome back to another Phantom Forces video. Today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 sites in Phantom Forces. Keep in mind that these are red dot sites such as the Reflex, the Coyote, the Cobra, and stuff like that. If you want to see a video on the top 10 scopes, let me know in the comments and let's go for 1,000 likes on this video. Also make sure to subscribe in the next 5 seconds, but yeah, number 10 is going to be going to the Cobra site. And in honor of Battlefield 4, this is going on the AK-12. Not because we're talking about the AK-12 in this video or anything, but you know, it's a decent gun. Running 5.56 by the way, which will be getting removed for some reason. This is an interesting site because it doesn't have a 2 times zoom and it doesn't have a 1.5 and that's the two main magnifications on red dot sites. This is actually a 1.8 so if you want something in between a reflex and like a coyote site this is actually pretty good. It's kind of high off of your gun but it's got a really cool reticle as well. Wow okay. This is actually a decent site. I don't usually like use it on everything but when I do I'm actually pretty surprised by how decent this really is. If you want basically just like a different reticle on your site and a little bit of extra zoom it's there. It's number 10. It's pretty good. All right, buddy. I don't know why this side is mounted like this on the ASVAL, but next up we have the Microdot Mini. I don't know why this is a thing. I didn't even know that this was a thing. Am I the first person to discover this feature that they actually had on this gun? What the frick? Microdot Mini actually comes with a blue dot, which is pretty cool. Other than that, it's a bit generic and kind of obstructive. It's kind of small, but like I do like it overall. It's got like a really tiny casing to it. So if you like more slim sights, this is actually pretty good. The problem is for how large the glass is and how small it is. I mean, the bars are pretty wide as well. And also it sucks on this gun, but it's kind of funny on this gun. I had no idea this was a thing. But next up, we have the Microdot SRS which is you'd think similar to the Microdot Mini and I guess kind of. It's got a white dot, it has tinted glass, and it's a lot larger, and it also doesn't actually have the weird mount that the other one does, but the side is pretty good. It's kind of like a Pillad 3 almost, or like, uh, I don't know, Coyote site, where it has a little bit of extra zoom to it, but it's also got an absolutely massive screen. I don't know why. The glass area on this thing is massive, and I feel like it could kind of help with aiming as well. This is definitely a bit underrated. Not going to be very high on my list or anything, but definitely better than, you know, your average Iron Sight or something like that. It doesn't require as many kills as the Microdot Mini, which... I feel like the Microdot Mini should be like the easier one to get because it's like the mini version. I don't know. That's my opinion. Next up, we have the Pillad 3. This has a 2.2x magnification and it's a bit higher off of your gun, but it doesn't really matter too much. For some reason, this just allows you to hit more headshots and I don't know why. Definitely a really good optic for a sniper rifle or a DMR. Not the best for like, you know, a generic automatic gun or anything, but it's not too bad for that either. Good zoom level. Definitely a bit more than like an average sight, but I feel like it's really helpful. Like I said, not my number one pick for an automatic gun, but it's not really too bad for an automatic gun either. Is that a wall bang on the second guy how did i kill that guy through a wall but at number six we have the no recoil side aka the dcl the dcl barely reduces recoil it does actually reduce recoil but only rotational by five percent which really doesn't matter on most of your guns and even the guns that it does matter it's not by a ton but it is there which is kind of cool the so recoil wise it doesn't make a big difference so if it doesn't really reduce recoil by that much why is everybody saying that it does the main reason is basically just perceived recoil it has a 1x magnification so it doesn't actually zoom in it does if you have higher fov of course but if you have the the default FOV, it doesn't zoom in at all. So basically, it will make you feel like you have less recoil on your gun. Sounds cool, right? Well, here's the problem. It reduces handling by a ton, your swap speed by a ton, and also it's super obstructive and bad for long range because you can barely zoom in. Putting all that past it though, it is a great sight, you know? Do I use it on basically any gun? Not really. I prefer just overall alt in. My opinion, an AMT Terminator is going to be better than this, but like, you could use this as well. An AMT Terminator doesn't actually like reduce your handling at all. Also has a 1x magnification and also a it has some like red laser benefits not as much benefit to recoil as a dcl but like the dcl doesn't really have a massive benefit to recoil in the first place so not my favorite site but i can see why it's good definitely up there definitely one of the best sites in the game because it does have an effect on recoil which is cool one of the very few that can do that but next up at number five we have the kosaku the dcl and the kosaku have quite a few similarities they are a fully aimed in non alt aim but their major niche is that they reduce perceived recoil the reason the kosaku site is better is because it also reduces your perceived recoil not by quite as much but barely less because it has a 1.2x zoom, but also doesn't reduce handling and it doesn't really feel as obstructive because let's be real, the DCL 120, it's kind of obstructive. These guys are just camping back here. Stop. Are you move just leave your spawn like just leave your move anyway this is a lot better overall in my opinion because it doesn't really have as many drawbacks and it has a bit more zoom but like that doesn't really matter unless you have a gun that basically has rng like recoil such as the m16a3 good luck trying to actually like be accurate over range you're kind of just going to spray over range not great for dmr sniper rifle anything for long range but definitely one of the best optics in the game i'm not gonna lie great optic picture but not really like the best because it has so many like weird freaking dots but next up at number four we have the mars sight mars sight is a 1.5 
5 x zoom, a great CQC mid range, and maybe even long range. It's not very obstructive, it is a bit high off of your gun, but the major thing here is that it gives you a free red laser and red laser benefits. It used to reduce recoil as well, but now it will kind of reduce recoil, but not as much as it used to. It used to have basically DCL benefits and a laser. They removed that, but they gave it a 1.5 instead of 2x zoom, and that makes it a lot better for actually using an assault rifle and stuff. So yeah, better hip fire, and you get a laser even if you're running like a full stock. That's really good. I have a full stock on right now, and I still get a laser to actually help me with hip firing and stuff. It would be kind of good on like basically any type of gun if you don't have an AMT Terminator, but the gun has all tame. Like the P90, for example, use the Mars until you get the AMT Terminator if you plan on all taming because you get a free red laser. Great sight overall. It feels just really good. Honestly, kind of underrated. I think it's kind of the best sight overall to use when it comes to just direct benefits to your gun. Is it the most unobstructive best sight overall? In my opinion, no, but it is definitely up there. In fact, outside of like my opinion, it's probably the best sight in the entire game. So definitely use it more. It's also a very low kill unlock. At number three, we have the reflex sight. This guy could like move his head. It's kind of big. Move your head, dude. Anyways, this is the reflex sight. You've seen it. You use it probably. It has slightly tinted glass, which is kind of annoying, but really not that big of a problem. Barely even noticeable. I'm not going to lie. Like in that kind of lighting, you can't really tell. And here, here, maybe a little bit. It's a little bit more obstructive than some other sites in the game, mainly the number one site in this game, and it requires a few kills to get 285, which the Mars and the number two spot require less kills to get, which is kind of nice, but it's just pretty unobstructive. It just has a dot. It is definitely like the generic good site, but generic also means like good overall, you know? Like if something is generic, that means it's gotta be pretty good, like Ziploc. Ziploc is the generic freezer bag brand, and also who uses anything that isn't like Ziploc bags, you know? I think even outside of like the US, like everywhere, you just use Ziploc bags, get Real. They're supposed to be called like freezer bags or something. But everyone calls them Ziploc, and that's the name of a brand and an intellectual property. But we call them that for every kind, you know. But everyone uses the Ziploc bags anyway. But even if it's like a generic one, we still call it Ziploc bags, even though they're not the brand Ziploc. Anyway, good site overall. I don't know why I was talking about Ziploc bags. But at number two, we have the Delta site. Delta site doesn't have any of that kind of tinted glass to it. It's a little bit less obstructive, but not like much. And best of all, it has the Delta. If you don't really like the Delta, meaning like the Chevron thing that's right here, and I don't really recommend it too much. But in my opinion it is great for the past like four years i've used this as one of my main sites just because it requires only 60 kills you can get that in like one game and then you have a pretty good site that you could probably use until the end of time like it's just such a good site and i probably use it more than the reflex on a lot of my guns i don't know why i think the reflex might like be better for some people but for me i gotta give it to the delta pretty unobstructed 1.5x zoom easy to get but very easy to like just use a lot of people might not even ever switch off of this once they get it here's the thing right like a lot of people are never going to use the z point again but but so many people are just only going to be using the Delta. That's got to be something, you know? There's got to be something with the site if everyone's using this. Great site overall, definitely. But not number one, not really that great on sniper rifles or DMRs because of 1.5x zoom. And the triangle thing is kind of annoying for sniping. It's an all right site for sniping, but not the best. But yeah, let's get on to honorable mentions. Just so people don't get mad, I'll do a couple of these. Geotech is pretty good. Comp aim point is all right. Cobra EKP is pretty good. And the Arska Electra, of course. And the OKP7, you might be able to put that on there as well. But number one is obviously going to be going to the coyote site. The coyote site has a 2x zoom, is super unobstructed. It does have slightly tinted glass, but let's be real, you probably couldn't even tell. Same with the reflex, doesn't really matter too much for that, but it has a 2x zoom, has the same reflex style dot, but the bars are super skinny, and it's super massive, and it's super unobstructed. It has a 2 times zoom instead of 1.5. However, in my opinion, that makes it a better overall sight, because you can use it on a sniper rifle. I use it on basically all of my DMRs. Regardless of what gun you're using, this will be probably the best sight to use on a pistol, a sniper, a DMR, an assault rifle, carbine, anything like that even a melee. If you could put on a melee, it would be pretty good on a melee. Coyote's overall really great. For CQC, it's not necessarily as good. However, it's basically just as good and also less obstructive in a lot of ways and way better for LRC than the Reflex site. Reflex is all right for LRC, but like not that great for sniping. This is great for sniping and great for LRC on an auto gun. Only guns I wouldn't really recommend with it is probably like maybe the M231 and stuff like that. But even then, the Reflex isn't that good. That would be better suited for an all tame. It's a site I use on like the Chris Vector and like the Remington 700. That means it's a good site overall. All. Um, but that's just my opinion. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe if you're new. But I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah, okay. Yes, multi. Come on. Where are you guys? Okay. Where are you guys, please? Oh my gosh. That was such a good multi. I was hanging on to that thing.